we love this we love this studio it's got a kind of vibe of sort of retro vintage. retro kind of it's not like oh, how can i say this without it sort of sounding disparaging but it's not like super posh or anything like that but also you you know you get the feeling that quite a lot of important records have been been made here um so this is the control room um let's let's take you around here what's quite cool about this place for tracking drums is um is that you've got a variety of different room options you, you, you can fairly quickly change the drum sound without moving you know without sort of too much faffing around with mics and um and drums and stuff we're going for quite a um sort of disco-y kind of 70s ish uh vibe so we've got the drums in this room which we usually record vocals in because it's super dry and dead um but we've decided to put the drums in here um, and for the tracks where we want it slightly more open and a, and a bit bigger we just open up the doors and hang some mics in in the room there which i'll, I'll show you in a second oh right we we'll have to remeasure that um so no real surprises here a couple of u87s on the um as overheads 421s on the toms km84s ride and hat we've gone with the d112 and the fet 47 pretty standard combination 57 top and bottom and a aea ribbon mic which is behind you there we'll put some mics out here to kind of capture a bit more snap crackle and pop everyone's got their own individual headphone mixer thing which seems to be a thing that everyone does now um this is a superb piano as well i think i think this is the piano i'm pretty sure this is the piano that um rolling in the deep was recorded on um amazing amazing piano um I th in fact i'm pretty sure adele did her first record or first two records here with paul epworth um off of the main live room we've got a kind of ampy type booth which is just super dead and then this room here is just kind of full of full of old keyboardy guitar-y goodies it's one of my favorite things at east coast i've tried to buy this off philip a couple of times but you wouldn't have wouldn't have a bar of it it's a kind of harmonium that become quite an important part of, of charlie's last record just sort of sat down and played on it and we all fell in love with it none of us could really play it particularly well but it featured heavily um and then just old you know ac30s and old roads which we used which sounds amazing the hammond we stuck the leslie speaker out in the room um which sounded great yeah just if you look around this place there's just lots of little you know that'll probably sound amazing <laughs> there's just lots of little weird little quirky quirky things that kind of let's show you through a bit of our processing process the minute we're just recording drums so we've got some external patching going on we're EQing um, kick and snare using the GML compressing the kick with the 165 which is a really nice kind of way of retaining the low end but still um, I love that compressor on kick um, the 160s on the snare sucking a bit of the low end um, these Poltex which <laughs> Philip I bought off of Paul McCartney. They, they do sound good, I've got to say. The um, TG TG limiter on the on a, on a room mic that we've got, which is just absolutely being destroyed and sounds horrible, but in quite a nice way. They've got an an, an Atari MTR90, which last time we tracked the whole album through, didn't we? Yeah. Um, which sounded wicked. I sort of kind of left it a bit late to do that this time around, and also we're trying to. We had a, well, I mean, we had about two or three weeks booked here last time, didn't we? Yeah in studio one whereas we've only got one day today in studio one and then we're in studio two so the tape machine wasn't really an option but we've got one um where we're going to be mixing the record anyway so we'll probably mix it down to tape i think really we've come to east Coast because um it just felt right didn't it we looked we did actually look around quite a few studios before we decided to come to east Coast, and i think it's just got that balance of being earthy and real and old school but also kind of modern and yeah for me it was actually because like w when we did the first record I was very much wanted to get a sound that was reminiscent of the 70s which is a, which is a decade I love because it's got lots of warmth to it so I said to Jay let's try and find a studio that was actually built then so it has that heritage you know and the analog gear and the vintage gear mm. and you only have to look at the desk to see <laughs> <laughs> what I'm talking about um, and that's very much part of my sound. It's, it's like 70s meets Britpop with a bit of Americana thrown in. So 
the studio just fits. And you know, as Jamie said earlier, there's just so much sort of um, the walls just breathe. Mm. That kind of you just get that sense that a lot of people have passed through here that, that, that you would, would admire. And there's a lot of records to be made here that are right up our street. So the energy of the place is bang on. Let's get that. 